Uh, uh, good morning. First, I want to thank you all for the recognition. Uh, this recognition definitely uh, it belongs to my team, University of Illinois at Chicago, my wife and my kids and my uh, good children, Hamsa, Nimalan, Arani, and Matt and Abhi. Uh, it's, I owe my life to this country. I was born in a country called Sri Lanka, and uh, we saw the way the people lost freedom. We went through 30 years of civil war. Uh, but I was born to uh, two teachers. They were able to provide me the education. And, uh, but they did definitely told me to depend on yourself and help the community when you can. Uh, I remember selling coconut and uh, mangoes because my I was the sixth in the family, and uh, once you send one kid to outside the country, you ran out of money. Uh, but pride is something I learned from my dad and mom. Uh, I came here in 1982. I remember the way I landed in Ohio Airport to join University of Illinois at Chicago. The, the, the care they took as a human being, uh, giving me direction to how to go out of the airport, making sure that I have a place to stay. And the amount of detail they have gone through at University of Illinois, Chicago, to make sure I'm okay, I come here. Uh, it's just incredible. It is just a value the country, this country has for the human being. And to treat the person for who he is, not because of the color, not what he has, but as a person. Uh, that impacted me a huge deal. Uh, I started my PhD, and there were so many people uh, helped me out, but uh, there are, in, 83, Professor Raka and Professor Fori started a new lab called Microphysics Lab, received multi-million dollars to set up the next generation of infrared night vision technology for the defense. Obviously, you landed in Chicago. Uh, first thing, my reaction when I landed in Chicago about my knowledge is, I saw the sign for hot dog, and it said, I didn't know that Americans eat dog meat. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do know uh, uh, sausage, but I didn't know about this. Uh, so that's how much knowledge I had. Suddenly, I am given an opportunity to build a new lab, multi-million uh, vacuum technology, which currently is used in fighter planes and uh, satellites and uh, help protect those who protect us. Uh, that I still couldn't believe what is that made them believe, as a, taking me as a first student and believe that I can make it happen. Uh, since then, there are so many, uh, Raytheon, uh, tech, uh, BAE, every company is uh, using it. This material is utilized it for it. But really what makes an impact on every immigrant is the time the people took to train me. Really, they pushed me to the limit, but every step of the way, they were there to make sure the uh, person is protected too. Yes, sir. And that helped me. And so in 1997, I realized that uh, the only way the sensor material can be protected is start your own company. I started EPIR Technologies at that time. Uh, and my wife managed to allow me to initiate it in my basement. And uh, then uh, allowed me to move into her dental clinic. She's a dentist. She has a clinic. Uh, then obviously, we have now a 30,000 square feet uh, uh, total combined together, close to 70 employees. Uh, what I found during the process is uh, it's uh, one is Midwest has 17% of the physicists 
but don't have a good mechanism in place to transfer the university technology to create job in Midwest. 17% uh, of the physicists of the entire country lives in the Midwest. Uh, so I basically thought the best way to, uh, uh, but at the same time I had the help from university. University of Illinois has been all the way helped me to build it up. So I, I, after forming the company, which is now the supply chain, uh, we are providing material for infrared sensors, for defense, I realized that the best way I can help is form an incubator because I came to this country because of it, the labs and IBM labs and suddenly all gone. So we, I form, put, took most, all the assets from what I, we made from the company EPIR, put it into something called Swananda Laboratory and uh, uh, brought uh, Raja Raja Krishnamurti to spearhead it to build uh, more of a pseudo uh, bell labs in that place. Uh, so that's uh, how we built it. That's my story. And for currently, we are trying to. What we are trying to do is to create employment in Illinois, and we just form Inspire, something called Institute for Solar Photovoltaic uh, Edu Training, uh, because the, the same sensor material is great material for photo solar cells. Uh, so we are trying to create clubs. Uh, what best way to educate about the solar cell? is to educate the grassroots so that the people can go and tell the parents. So uh, we kind of start building that uh, club. So the, it's overall, uh, I believe that uh, there should be an incubator in Illinois. And Illinois has all the, uh, the talents in it. And hope we will succeed. And hope, Raja, you will succeed. Thanks. Thank you.